Hi, I'm Rob Tanner and I'm an invasive species scientist at CAVI. We're working on natural ways of controlling Himalayan balsam in the UK. Himalayan balsam is one of the UK's most invasive plant species. It was introduced in 1839 as an ornamental plant from its native range, the Himalayas, and has spread rapidly throughout the UK, invading woodland, wasteland and riverbanks. Part of the problem is, it was introduced without its natural enemies, which gives the plant an unfair advantage over our native species. In 2008, myself and Cabby colleagues embarked on a trip to survey Himalayan balsam in its native range, the Himalayas. The main focus was to identify natural enemies which could be used to control the plant in the UK. Upon arriving in India, we met the local cabbie team and discussed the logistics of our survey. We then sought further advice from the Himalayan Research Institute at Shimla on the distribution of Himalayan balsam in the local area. From Shimla, it was about a 10 hour drive to the foothills of the Himalayas. Traffic jams, landslides brought on from the onslaught of the monsoon and treacherous road conditions hampered and delayed our survey. We eventually reached the Sangalar Valley at an altitude of 2,800 meters. After some initial searching, we still hadn't come across Himalayan balsam, so we decided to enlist the help of some local farmers. After showing them a picture of the plant, we get lucky, and one of them tells us he has Himalayan balsam growing on his patch of land. The farmer took us to his land and we searched for the plant. It's quite difficult to identify Himalayan balsam when it's not flowering, but the farmer assured us it was here. Yes, here it is. You can identify Himalayan balsam as the leaves come off in walls of three from the stem. It's great to find the plant, but it's also great to find this array of natural enemies. Himalayan balsam is a lot smaller here in the native range than it is in the UK and this is in part due to the pressure exerted by natural enemies. Here we've just found a large beetle which is feeding on the leaves of the plant. Also, there are a number of different larvae. Now this is interesting. The damage on this leaf is caused by a plant pathogen, a leaf spot. We'll collect some specimens of this. Today was a productive day, but it's not over yet. We need to label our insect samples and Jamie, our plant pathologist, needs to preserve our plant specimens. It's a new day, and after climbing some steep terrain, we finally reach a high altitude meadow. Look at the rich diversity of plant species here. Poppies, orchids, and yes, Himalayan balsam. We'll stop here and do a survey. Look at this, here we have a lizard beetle feeding on the foliage. Also, we have a flea beetle inflicting considerable damage. After cutting open some stems, we find eggs. This is fantastic. This is a stem-boring weevil. Our entomologist, Dick Shaw, reckons this has considerable potential. We find a hawk moth caterpillar and further insect species, which all cause considerable damage to the plant. Our Indian collaborator, Rajesh, is constantly looking for plant pathogens and gets stuck in to the undergrowth of a balsam population. Wow, what a result, look at this. This is a rust pathogen infecting the stem of the plant. It severely warps and bends the stem as the plant grows. Here's another one. This rust species could have great potential as a natural control agent. Okay, well that's our survey complete. This trip has been highly successful. Now further research is needed in the UK and in India to determine the suitability of the agents we've identified.